guys. This is Grandma Cheap Cheap and welcome back to my vintage kitchen. For the last week or so, I've had a little home improvement thing going on here and uh, I wasn't able to cook really in my kitchen uh, comfortably. So what I uh, did was I had all my surfaces here uh, in my small kitchen um, resurfaced with reclaimed butcher block and I've always wanted that so long so I had a company that uh, sold the butcher block to us got a handyman to put it in and I just think it's beautiful. Today in my vintage kitchen um, we're going to do stuffed tuna salad stuffed tomatoes or tuna stuffed tomatoes. I don't know what I'm going to call it yet. I just fly by the seat of my pants. But anyway, um, now's the time that the farmer's market, your garden might be producing some awesome, awesome tomatoes. Mine are getting there, but uh, I've just had a couple of them. And as soon as they turn red, Mr. just plucks them off the vine and eat them like an apple. But I don't care because um, that's a good source of vitamins and tomatoes are good. But I have some Roma tomatoes that I got from the farmer's market um, last week and I'm going to make a tuna salad. Let me get a spoon. Now, give me a moment. Tuna salad is as varied as the 31 flavors at Baskin Robbins. You can just um, make tuna salad your own. So what I did was open two cans of tuna that was packed in water, a half a cup of mayonnaise, and that's the real mayonnaise. You may use salad dressing or you may use um, whatever substitute you want for the mayonnaise. Just one quarter red onion and one small yellow bell pepper. Um, if you've seen these packages in the market, this bell pepper has lots of flavors. It's vine sweet mini peppers and these are awfully good to put in your omelet in the mornings. They're small. I just used one and you know they're just small little ones and they keep really good in the fridge. So I have that. Um, my guys who are new to the kitchen, uh, what I want you to do is start using your eyes to, to measure. And we can do it in small doses. This is dill wheat and this is really good in tuna. Um, dill complements fish. And I just want you to cup your hand and just give yourself a little cup, handful, palm, palm full of dill weed. Um, we didn't always have celery um, when I was growing up. Um, actually, very seldom did we have the actual plant but we always had celery seed and that's what I have here. It will um, carry you on very good if you have celery seed. And I get, gave myself a palm full of celery seed. And then I'm going to have a, uh, this is my own blend of herbs to Provence and I'm going to give myself a big pinch of herbs to Provence. Now with my um, tuna salad there is no need for salt and pepper um, to me. So um, it's salt and pepper to taste or no salt and pepper at all. And with this two cans a half a cup of mayonnaise was just right. Okay, let me just show you how that looks. Uh, 
I don't know if you can see it. And I may put another ingredient on there. Let me in there. Let me prepare my tomatoes and I'll be right back with you shortly. Okay guys, I have um, placed my tomatoes that I've cored, I've cut and cored, and I'll show, show you how to do that or how I do it. I just cut off the top of my tomato and like I said this is a Roma tomato I don't know if I'm in frame and the top I just chop it up because don't waste anything I'm gonna cut my tomato in quarters and it's not all the way down where you can cut through but uh, down to the bottom and then I take my sharp knife and I go around the inside up to tomato so I can get that core out. I have a spoon here and with the spoon I'm going to scoop out the inside of my tomato because that's where the tuna salad is going to go. So I've taken that out pretty much. I've got one here And that's another boat or um, vessel for the tuna to go in. Okay, I'm going to just chop this up. Because it's so pretty and so vibrant in color and my tuna salad isn't, I'm just going to take about half of this and put it in the tuna salad. And this other half... I'm going to keep until tomorrow when we have an omelet or something for breakfast and just put that in there. You don't have to waste anything and this looked much better. And let's face it, you do eat with your eyes as well as your taste buds. Speaking of taste buds, um, I don't often anymore sample when I'm cooking because um, it just takes so long for me to um, chew it up and believe me if it isn't good I tell you okay give yourself a nice heaping helping uh, I am going to eat this of your tuna salad in the dish and voila you're ready for a nice summertime meal that's easy to make and is taking advantage of the um, many um, tomatoes that we have in our garden or at the grocery. Let me just give you a view of the completed dish. Okay, if you like this dish and want to see other um, salad dishes coming from the kitchen, just leave me a thumbs up. You can request whatever you want me to try to um, cook in the kitchen for you or a demonstration. Email me at GrandmaCheepCheep at gmail.com. Follow me on Twitter at GrandmaCheepo. I am on Facebook now, so it's GrandmaCheepCheep on Facebook as well. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys, and be blessed. Bye-bye now.